Howdy everybody. Uh, it's the end of the nine weeks, so I have a lot of questions about point behind, points behind. And I just got my hair cut, and it's a beautiful evening out. So I figured I'd just do a quick video about this topic, and um, hopefully put a few things to rest. So, the points behind system is based on a couple of things. It calculates the number of points your child should have, and then it subtracts away the number of points that they've actually earned in the nine weeks. And that figures out how many points they are behind, if they're behind at all. How do I figure out how many points they should have? I calculate a couple of things. I calculate their ability, which is based primarily off of their um, reading level. Um, it's usually a pretty good gauge of how much they can do in class. Second thing, I calculate the number of days that they've actually been working on a computer. So, if a student can earn 20 points a day, and they've worked for 10 days, they should have 200 points. If they only have 180, guess what? 20 points behind because they should have 200 and they've only earned 180. That's really all there is to it. Um, could go a little more in depth but without a spreadsheet in front of me and then none of that would really make sense. Um, <coughs> what does your child actually need to work on? That's where my spreadsheet would come in handy because the grade book doesn't really have a good sorting mechanism other than date and for every day I have six or seven assignments. I have a ton of assignments. So can't really do it that way, um, but on my spreadsheet, on my Excel spreadsheet, everything is in the right order. So your student can look on that spreadsheet and they can see exactly what they should be working on, but it should be obvious based on what they're working on because as they're working through Canvas or working through MindTap or, or, or whatever, everything's in a sequence. So just do the assignments in order. Sometimes they manage to do them out of order anyway and we go back and they, you know, they just have to catch up. Um, <clears throat> so that's really it. Just wanted to put that out there. If your child has points behind, they just haven't earned enough points. So if they've only earned 150 points and they should have earned 200, they're 50 points behind and that does count against them. Um, it's not a matter of plugging in zeros for assignments that they should do because that's actually logistically is a lot harder on my end because some students are working on programming, some students are working on gaming, some students are working on Khan Academy, some students are working on Microsoft Word. It's just they're all over the place and... Uh, my best gauge for what they've done in class is simply adding up the points that they've earned. And that's, that's it. They should have earned this many points. They either did or they didn't. And that's where points behind comes into play. I try to put that grade at the very top of the grade book, so it'll be a date, like, at near the end of the nine weeks. Um, <coughs> so when you log into the grade book, unless I screw it up, which I do from time to time, all the time, uh, but it should be the very first grade. But if it's not, just uh, control F to do a search and search for the words points behind. It is a grade that is simply called points behind and it is the only grade that should, by design, be a zero. That's it. Points behind. They should have minus what they do have. Thanks.